sell it. Uh, search wardrobe. <whistles> Nothing good. Okay. So, you know, we've come down into this midden, and surprisingly, there's some sort of, like, altar over here. Uh, and then there's this book here, the um, Atronach Forge Manual. So hopefully that's the Atronach Forge, and I can read it. Let's see what it has to say. Nephew, I apologize that I cannot see you personally before you leave. The trip from Sadrith Mora is treacherous this season, or I would have visited upon hearing the news. The Nords have a fine college in Winterhold, and I am sure you will excel. You may know that I, too, attended there. I was quite the conjuration adept in my own day. I am sending you my notes on something called the Atronach Forge, a bit of a project of mine while at Winterhold. Mention nothing to the faculty, but ask your fellow pupils about a place called the Midden. You will find the forge there. I fear a number of my notes are missing, scattered and lost in my travels around Skyrim. Perhaps you may stumble uh, across these in your own adventures. Okay, so one of the pupils here, his nephew, was also a mage and has sent him his notes um, with that little pre preview. And obviously you have to travel around Skyrim hunting down uh, the rest of the pages of the notes in order to probably use it to its fullest extent. But let's see what we've got. Uh, the Atronach Forge offers few clues as to who built it, and even fewer as to how to unlock its full potential. Only through blind experimentation and a few singed eyebrows have I been able to understand its function. The forge is mostly a large dais, almost crude of make, but emblazoned with the traditional Daedric Oblivion rune. An offering box is attached, as well as a prominent lever. The dais also features a large setting, which seems set to receive some large spherical object. Like the Eye of Magnus, maybe? I think I sense what might cause the, the, uh, the, the cataclysm that the Sigic Order warned me about. Uh, anyway, uh, the dais also features a large setting which seems set to receive some large spherical object. I've had no luck determining what this missing object may be, however, or what effect it may have on the efficacy of the forge. The forge is activated by placing certain, certain items into the offering box, and then pulling the lever. The forge consumes the items and conjures something upon the dais. The conjuration can be predicted reliably if the appropriate items are left in the box, but many combinations either have no effect or catastrophic reactions. Once I conjured a wild goat. Well, most of the goat, at least. Experimenting wildly with the forge is dangerous. I have recorded such recipes as I have discovered on the following pages. The simplest, yet perhaps most hazardous stable recipe is that for a summoned Atronach. Hence the name, the Atronach Forge. Uh, the conjured brutes will attack the first thing they see, however. Be ready for battle if you have reason to use these recipes. Oh, okay, and so those ingredients I picked up off the table were the ingredients for a flame Atronach. Okay, I don't, um... I'm going to take this book, I'll tell you that. I don't want to summon an Atronach right now, I don't have a reason, but I am going to take a quick look at the altar. Okay. So let's see, that must... That's the offering box. That's the lever he mentioned. Pedestal? What does that do? You lack the required item. Okay. Uh, and there's the Oblivion rune right there on the on the dais. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, okay. Let's see. So let's continue onward and see... Well, did we go down here? Not sure. No, I don't think we did, so look at this massive I almost assumed that this was a puzzle as soon as I saw this, because so many candles, but it's not, it's not interactive. But I thought like, you know, maybe you pull one of these to open a secret door or something. Anybody in here? No, doesn't look like it. Oops. Okay. There's some stuff in here. A death bell, a thorax. Yeah, they like to they like to hide little bits and pieces everywhere. Like, what is that right there? It's just a flower, a salt pile. Some mushrooms. And by the way, I'm taking the mushrooms because I they're usually pretty valuable. I can I'll be able to find and they um, they don't weigh very much. 
So hopefully I'll be able to hunt down an alchemist to sell them all to later. I do like the way the bugs are trapped in the spider webs. That's kind of a cool touch. Oh, what is that? That's that's a drow. That's a drow. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, Jizargo's flame crow scroll. Flame cloak scroll. Here we go. I'm gonna try that. Okay. So where the scroll? Wow. Well, he messed me up pretty bad. Or maybe I messed myself up. Oh, I see. Yeah, wearing it... Wearing, he was in melee range. Wearing it hurt him, but it also hurt me. Okay, Jizargo, you have much to answer for. I'm gonna heal up. Let's see whether... Yeah, I think what happens is that... um. I'll do it in third person next time, but I think the scroll says if it's in melee range, they take a bunch of damage. But I think it hurt me too. So let's see if this drow had anything on him. Uh, some arrows, worthless bow and axe, some gold. Okay. So, oh, that's a that's kind of a cool effect. I wonder if there's anything in that water. This is midden water, though. Oh, okay. I can't go down in it. Wait a minute. Is that water or... Yeah, that has to be water. Okay. Um, so let's see. He was... He was up here, wasn't he? The drow? Let's check out this, this area over here. Nothing? No? Okay. Okay. Um, so let's see where this goes. The mid and dark. That must be this. The um, that must be where the uh, the auger of Dunlane is. Look at this. Oh, look at this thing. That's pretty cool, a little piece of artwork. They just, uh, you know, it's made of, of, looks like arm bones, hands, and one, and that one skull in the middle. I mean, yes, it's disturbing, but it's also pretty nifty. It's kind of like a, like a sunburst of fingers. Okay, there may be more undead down here. If there are, I want to try and use Josargo's flame cloak again so I can complete the objective. Um, that's definitely a chest. How do I get down there safely? I guess I would have to jump, and I don't feel comfortable doing that because I don't know if I can get back up. Unless... No, I don't see a way. Huh. Well, maybe I'll come back for that chest another day. Whew. Okay. So we're here in the mid and dark, crawling through a crevasse dug in, dug uh, through um, what appears to be solid ice. Here's like a little gatehouse over here. Did you hear something? see what's up here. skeleton, I believe. Okay. Sounds like a skeleton. Yep. Okay. <sighs> Jizargo's Flame Croak Scroll.
Oh, it killed me! Damn it, Chizargo! Test completed. Even though I died? Wait a minute, that can't be right. Oh, maybe it's because there was two of them? No, okay, it's back it's back to one. Okay. Um, so let's see. Maybe it was because there was two of them that uh, it gave me, like, it caused a problem. So I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll kill one of them first. Um, I'll kill one of them first, and then I'll use flame click on the remaining one. Okay, that one's dead. And now I'm gonna try Jazargo's flame crow scroll. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what must have happened is that because there was two of them, I got like I got double whammy. Man, if I have to use that thing again, it's gonna kill me. It is powerful though, you gotta give him that. Man, there's a lot of skeletons. Okay. Whoa, what is that? That looks cool. Anybody in here? Huh. That's got an oblivion rune on it, too. That's some sort of, like, lobstered plate metal gauntlet with an ob the giant orange oblivion rune on it. Relic ring finger. Ooh. It's like a giant red button that says, push me, push me. Um, which I am uh, fairly prone to do, I must admit. Fire salts, that's nice. Ice wreath teeth. Look at all this stuff. See, if you just look around, there's like, you can, it's so hard not to get filthy rich. Um, a room full of skulls. An artifact. Oh, wait a minute. Investigator's key. Midden incident report. Let's, uh, oh, I can't read that right now. Okay, well, um, that's, that's an hour, so I gotta, I gotta call a, a halt here and watch it back and make sure I haven't wasted another hour of my life. Um, but next time, uh, we will read the Midden Incident Report and examine the Relic Index Finger. Um, and then we'll go find the Augur of... I think we're going the wrong way. Yeah, I gotta go back and find the Augur of Dunlane. I think he's... yeah, he's over here. But I will definitely be checking this, this cool-looking thing out. Look at that. That's badass. Okay, so until next time, everybody, uh, thanks for watching.